going to be using this sign. Hey, Janet. And this is from Personalize It by Pam. And um, I just love this sign. I think it's so pretty. Love the purples and the lavender and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Patty. Hey, Rose. Hey, Colleen. Denise, how are you guys? So that's the sign we're going to use. So I have this mesh I got from Joann's. It's that fabric mesh. Um, it's the lavender and white um, mesh, like the fabric mesh, which I love, love, love. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So we're going to be using that. I used one roll and it is, hey Shorty, how are you? Hey Jerry Lynn. Um, I cut the pieces to 20 inches. So we're going to be doing 20 inch ruffles. And then I already made my, um, hey Alberta. I got it from Personalize It by Pam. Let me see. I did, I thought I, let me see. I can get her link here for you if you would like to purchase this sign there we go so i will um pin that comment for you guys so that you have that oops nope there we go okay so um that's where the sign came from so when you cut your mesh um, like this is one of the first pieces and I always tell you guys this so you see how it's a really loose curl um, it's not a um, you know it's not real tight and then you have this that's a tighter curl and this one was towards the end so you always want to use the ones that was towards the end the tighter curl on the bottom okay hey Cindy how are you all right, I don't know why all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. All right. So, um, you guys have seen me make these wreath frames. We're going to start on the bottom. Whoops. Okay, there we go. We're going to start. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Carolyn. Thank you. I know I love these colors. All right, so we're going to start on the bottom. So, I'm going to open up all the ties, get the front ones out of the way so they're not a pain. Okay, so what we're going to do now when it's really a tight, um, curl like that what I like to do is just kind of put something heavy on it so it holds it down and we went ahead and like I said cut these to 20 inches I just curl or fold under the um, bottom edge just a little bit so you don't see that cut edge and then this is real easy to ruffle because you can see the different blocks in it and it has one right down the center so you want to um, go, well, welcome to my page, Trisha. Hey, Melanie. Um, I use the 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. I like to make my own. Okay, and then we're just going to put it right in here. So it looks kind of like a bow tie like that. We're going to put it right in the middle of the tie. And then twist. Okay. And then you just want to kind of open it up like that, okay? So that's what we're going to do all the way around. Like I said, you want to use those tighter ones. Hey, Susie Brown, how are you? Did you guys check out my post earlier today? Susie Brown is the inventor of the mesh roller, and she is celebrating reaching 15,000 likes on her Facebook page by having a 15% off of her um, mesh roller. So I posted that earlier. So if you guys are interested in that, um, you can use my affiliate code and you can get 15% off. So get them because she doesn't do sales real often. So you want to go ahead and get yours today. Hey, Linda. Hey, Judith. Hey, Philomena. How are you? Okay, now the... Um, I know some people find this hard to figure out why I do this. This is just something I do. I don't, um, I don't put, I only put mesh in my half pipe cleaners. It's just a preference that I have. I don't put um, ribbon in them. Hey, Deb. Hey, Darlene. Oh, no problem. 
I don't really have a, a spacing where I say this is this much apart. What I do is I go by the wreath frame. And so this is a section of the wreath frame. I put one full pipe cleaner on the inner ones right there and a full pipe cleaner here. And then I put half pipe cleaners here. It's just, like I said, it's just a preference that I've kind of come to like. Um, I'm sure other people have it. Did you use the, um, the Celebrate 15? I think the co yeah, the code is Celebrate 15. Try again, Bev, and then if you have a problem, um, we can ask Susie about it. But it should take it. But the code is Celebrate 19. And let me see. Okay. Yeah, it could be just it could just been a glitch or something. So um, that is the thing, and the code is uh -oh, celebrate fifteen. So use that link and um, try it again. If you have a problem. Let me know, Bev, and I will um, talk to her and see if she can help you out. But try it again, and if you still have the problem, then I'll, I'll, um, I'll message her about it, okay? Okay, so we're just going to keep going. Not yet. I am 62 away, Colleen. So I am getting there. So like and follow my page and share, please. We're getting there. 62 away. Yes, I'm 62 likes away from 10,000. So if you guys could like and follow and share my page, I would appreciate it. I'm getting there slowly but surely. Oh, sure. Absolutely, Bev. And if you still have problems after the live and you can't get it to work, just send me a message and I will um, talk to her. So just let me know. She is wonderful. I'm sure um, she's a very busy person, so she pops in and pops out of people's lives. You know, she can't stay on the whole time, but um, I'll talk to her about it if you, you know, if you still can't get it. Hey, Karen, how are you? Hey, Maria. So how is everyone's weather today where you were? Where do you live and how is your weather? I'm in Pennsylvania. Um, and it was gorgeous. It was 63 degrees here today. And I'm like, I will take it. Oh, well, I hope you're feeling better, Darlene. Whoops. Like I said, I just kind of put that fold just like an inch under. Thanks, Patty. And then fold this under just to kind of, you know, hide those, um, cut edges. That's the only reason I do that. <clears throat> Beautiful and sunny 78. In Raleigh, North Carolina, 72. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't that far off here. Hey, Sandy. How's it going? 50 and very windy in Indiana. Whew. 74 in North Carolina. Yeah, it was nice here today. It really was. I'll take it. If it could be like this all year round, I would take it. Oh, the rain has moved out. Yeah, I think we're supposed to get rain tomorrow, I think. Stormy. Oh, no, tornado. Be safe, Jane. That is scary. So don't forget to like and follow my page if you don't already. And please share. And so you want to like and follow and comment so that we can get there. In fact, maybe what I'll do tonight, there's an app called um, Random, Random Generator or something on Facebook comments. So if you like, follow, comment, and share... On this live, let me see, I will give away a roll of ribbon. Hey, Julie, how are you? So make sure, and Audrey, 
I know. I, I would, ugh. That is scary, those tornadoes. So like, follow, and share. And if you do, we will give away this lovely green ribbon. So um, whoever likes my page, follow my page. Com you have to comment on the live and shares it. We will give away this roll of ribbon. This is great ribbon. That's a $23 value. Good evening. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Debbie. So let's help me get to 10,000. I'm going to give away that roll of ribbon, but you have to like my page, follow my page, share this live, and comment here. Awesome, Carolyn. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will get there. I only used one roll. Yes, Deb. Yep, because I cut them to 20 inches. Thank you, thank you. If you cut them to 30 inches, you will need a roll and a half. But if you cut them to 20 inches, you can get away with one roll. Thank you, guys. We may get there tonight. Who knows? Thanks, Colleen. And again, I just take the mesh and I fold it over just like a half an inch to an inch. And then, like I said, this mesh is very easy because it's got this block of color right down the center. So I can follow that right up and then it's going to be an even ruffle. The truck sign came from Personalize It by Pam. Thank you, Kathy. And I did put a link earlier in the comments that has her link there so just tell her that i sent you if you would please thank you thank you thank you and if you don't get my alerts please type in live or alert and then follow the directions that the bot gives you so that you would get notifications when i go live and you do have to um Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. You do have to like and follow my page to get the alerts. So make sure you do that. I can show you that, Gail, no problem. What did I do with, I had a, I'll show you that in just a minute. Let me grab one of my other ones. Thank you. Okay, so again, we just cut this. This is 10 inch mesh and I cut it to 20 inches. I know, I do too. Thank you, Jonathan. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, hello, hello. I hope if I miss anyone, I apologize. The comments go by fast sometimes and it's hard to catch all of them. Thanks, Cheryl, how are you? Now, isn't this mesh pretty, though? I love this mesh. It's just got a, that little hint of lavender in there. The grandbabies are doing good this Saturday. My um, son's oldest is going to, he'll be five on the 21st. So we're having his birthday party this Saturday. So that'll be fun. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Karen. Thank you for sharing, Nancy. I appreciate that. Oh, awesome, Gail. Well, you'll have to post a picture. Send me a picture of it. Whoops. There goes something. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. Oh, man, that's terrible. My sister lives in Indianapolis. So. Remind me to grab that wreath frame, and I'll show you how where I put the... Um, here. Okay, so what I do is, so this are the, these are the sections of your wreath, okay? This is one section. So what I do is I put full pipe cleaners here, here, and here. On the very, the very inner ring is full pipe cleaners, okay? The, where the crossbar is, and then half pipe cleaners where the crossbar is on the third ring, and then a full pipe cleaner here. Now that's just how I like to do it. If you have another way you like to do it, you are more than welcome to do it that way. That's just how I choose to do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Thank you guys. Yep, don't forget to like and follow my page and share this video and comment on it. And I will give away this roll of ribbon. After the live, I will choose the winner and then I will post it. So look for that as well. This is a 14 inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. I, I don't know, I'm weird. I like to make my own. Just me. So, you know, when you use the work frames, they're great and I love them, but I like them. This, they fit between your um, screen door and your door a little better. It's not as, like, thick, I want to say. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Pat. How are you? So, I don't know. I've just, I guess I started using them, and then I just kind of got into the habit of using them. And so I just continued. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, I got this at Joanne's Fabric. I think it was a, a spring mesh that they had. You do, Cheryl? Yeah, I like it. I don't know. Some people, they don't, they like to use the work frames, and that's fine. It's whatever works for you. Hey, Karen. You like to make your zone, too? Yeah, I do, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, so for those of you who are just joining, if you like and follow my page and share this video and comment on the video, yes, I'm putting these in each of the pipe cleaners. I'm going to give away this roll of two and a half by 50 yard ribbon. So it's a $23 value. Yes, I put one in each of the pipe cleaners, um, even the half ones. I only use the half ones for mesh. I don't put the ribbon streamers in it. It's just a preference of mine. Um, you know, whatever you like to do, that's fine. It is. It is. Um, because you figure the frames, well, they're a dollar, you know, from the Dollar Tree. So it's a dollar six because we have a 6% sales tax. And then um, pipe cleaners, you know, 18 pipe cleaners don't cost a dollar. So, no, Karen, I cut these to 20 inches. No problem, Judy. Yeah, you know, some of the... Um, Joann's are very hit or miss with mesh. So, isn't that pretty though? I just love the like the little hint of lavender. So, thank you. <clears throat> oh, awesome, Patty. Good. How are you making out with your bows? Awesome, Colleen. It just takes practice. No problem. Yeah, because I think of a work frame, if you get it, you know, the ones that are raised that come with the, um, you know, the stuff already on it. I think they're like 4 or $5, so. Hey, Peggy, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Peggy, tonight we are giving away a roll of ribbon to whoever likes and follows my page, shares this video, and comments on the video. And then please make sure that you type in live if you would like to get my alerts. Oh yeah. I know I have a new kit that I'm getting ready to getting ready to post. So that'll be you found it at AC Moore. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to post another kit. So we'll have that coming out soon. Yes, ma'am, you have to, um, in order to be entered, you have to like and follow my page, share the video, and comment. And then you will be entered in, and I will choose the winner tonight. And I will post it on my page. But I'm giving away this roll of ribbon. <clears throat> I know I love the lavender ribbon. Um, I had, I got 12 rolls of the lavender ribbon 
when I got this order in and I don't I don't think I have I have one roll left. That's it. I put ribbons in just the full pipe cleaner, Cindy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't I just don't the only thing I use the half pipe cleaners for are um the mesh. I don't put the ribbons in them. It's just a preference I have. You know, other people do it differently. So, um, Mary, you might have to wait until um, you get off to follow it, follow my page. What are you looking for, Darlene? I missed it. Thank you. I don't sell the lavender truck sign, Karen. It came from um, Personalize It by Pam. I did put it the link to her site, to her Etsy page. Um, in the comments. So you, if you scroll up, you'll see that link. Oh, orange ribbon? Like, hold on. I know I have orange ribbon. Oh, you know what? I think I... Hmm. Did I sell it all? Look in my shop, Darlene. I don't remember if I had orange or not now. I can't remember. I cut my ribbon with a rotary cutter. If you use a rotary cutter, you want to make sure you use a self-healing mat so that you don't cut your table. Oh, thanks, Meta. I think we only have one more to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Last one. Um, I will show you. As soon as I get done this ruffle, Karen, I'll show you. All right. So. Okay. Last one here. Um, I can't remember if I got it this year or last year. Oh, no problem, Trixie. Let me see if I... Sometimes I put a date on them. No, I think I bought it... I might have bought it last year. So, I'm not sure. All right, so this is all the meshes on there. Let's get my tub out of the way. Hopefully that doesn't fall on me. Okay, so we're going to be using these three as the ribbon streamers. Hey, Robin! You can, Judy. Um, yes, Maddie, remind me at the end, if I remember at the end. Oh, the ribbon, um, it's a rotary cutter. So it's just a, a, a round blade that you use. Okay, you open it up and let's see, I have a little bit of mesh here somewhere I can show you. Let me show you real quick. So all you do, and I would put it on my, um, oh sure, Bev. And I would put it on my mesh holder, but since I'm just going to show you guys real quick, what you do is you just, you know, figure out where you want your cut, and then you just use that. And you want to use a self-healing mat so that um, you don't, um, first off, dull the blade, and second off, um, rip your table up. So that's what you do there. Yep, I will. Let me grab that link right now for you, Bev. Otherwise, I'll forget. <laughs> okay, here's the link for the mesh roller and use um, code CELEBRATE15. Okay. Did that go? Uh-oh, froze up. There we go. Okay. All right, some reason it froze up on me. I use 12 full pipe cleaners and um, 6 half pipe cleaners. Okay, so let's make a bow. No, I don't burn it. Nope, nope. You didn't see the link for the mesh roller? Uh, no, Barbara, I got the mesh from um, Joann's. Okay, bow. Bow. 
you didn't see the the sign link. Oh, okay. Let me. I'll I'll repost that again. Get this out of the way here. I'll put that over there. Whoop. Slide down. That's not gonna work. Okay. The sign. Let me post that where I got the sign. Okay, so that's where I got the sign. It's um, personalized. Personalize it by Pam. Okay. All right. You're welcome. All right, so I want to make one bow that's a little bigger and one bow that's a little smaller. And I'm going to break out my Pro Bow, which I haven't used in a while. And I'm going to get cooking with it. Whoops, wrong one. You're welcome. Okay, we'll get this out of the way because we're going to use that in a minute. Get that out of the way. Okay. So, I, well, yeah, actually, I just started. I just started another job this week. So, this week's a little crazy, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with. This two and a half inch ribbon. Oh no, we're not. We're going to start with the one and a half. Get this off of here. Okay. So, put that there. We're going to put this here. Hey, Pat. Okay. Yeah, Bev. I will contact her after this live and um, let me write it down because otherwise I'm brain dead and I'll forget. Okay. Okay. So I will contact her after the live and I will um, see what she can do for you, Bev. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to get my wire out here. No problem, Diane. This is a 22 gauge wire. And I'm going to cut it. I always cut mine long, about 28 inches. Because you can always, hey Barbara, always cut it shorter. Then we're going to fold our wires in half. Now everyone gets confused. Thank you, Grace. Everyone always gets confused by these wires. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dovetail the end. The first wire is just to really kind of get your bow started. And I, I'm, I do things weird, so I know this is not how most people do theirs, but this is how I start mine with a um, winter or with a center peg. You don't want to pull it so tight that you pull that peg, which I'm guilty of all the time. Oh, thank you, Pat. Hey, Lori. All right, so we're going to take that first wire and I'm going to wrap it around and one up and one down. Okay, and then just keep wrapping them around tightly, just like one or two times, okay? Then you're going to take the one that's up and you're going to wrap it clockwise around the peg. Hey, Vicki, how are you? And then the bottom one you're going to take and wrap around the nail on the bottom and then tuck under your board. All right, now I'm going to cut this one. Okay, and then we are going to put the tails up here. All right, so that one's done. Then we're going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing, except for we're going to take this. This is called the helping hand wire, and you're going to take it right through the center where this ribbon is. Okay, right in here. 
and you're just going to take it and feed it through. Okay, bring it to the right side of the peg here. Bring it all the way to the back and then just twist it one time. Okay, all right. Then you're going to get your next one. A dovetail tail the end and what you do is take it out to where the peg is here that you're using. In this case, it's row C. Hey, Sue. Hey, Dawn. Put your tail up there. I'm just going to hold it there, wrap it around that one. You want to gather it and then twist. Put it on that peg. Gather it. Oh, no. And then twist. And I'm going to tie it off. Just one time, and then I'm going to trim it off. Hello. Don't forget, if you guys are new, if you would like and follow my page and share it, because I'm going to give away a roll of ribbon this evening after the live, but you have to have liked my page, follow my page, share this, and um, comment. Okay, get these out of the way. And then I'm going to use this solid purple. Okay. And we're just going to do the same thing. Okay. All right. And we're going to dovetail the end. Bring it to the peg, the end of the peg here. Okay, gather it up, put the tail up there. Thank you. I know I love I love the purple ribbons and the pinks and hey Annette, how are you? Gather it together, twist, put it around there. Hello, Karen from Maine. Welcome. And then tie it off. Whoops. I should put my thing underneath there. Okay. Cut it off. And then put that up there. All right. Okay. Then we are going to use this little floral ribbon. Hello, Lori. Welcome. Same thing. You want to dovetail your ends, bring it out to the peg, the end of the peg, gather it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And hold it there. Put it around the peg. Gather it together. And then twist. Put it on this peg. Okay, gather it together and twist and then tie it off. Okay, and then dovetail. Um, I did sell uh, the plaid and the solid, but I am all out right now. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of this mesh ribbon. Have you guys seen this mesh ribbon? It's just um, a ribbon that's made of mesh. Okay, so I'm going to add that in there. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm just going to dovetail the ends of that. See how that works. Okay, again, put it out to the end. Now this is a little darker. But that's okay. Thank you, Lori. Put that in there. And tie it down. Oh, thanks, Pat. And put it around the peg. <clears throat> Gather it together. And twist. And the twisting, now it doesn't matter for this, but the twisting brings the pretty side of the ribbon facing the front of the bow. Tie that off. Okay. All right. 
Thank you for sharing. And then we're going to use the solid purple two and a half next. Oh, thanks, Annette. All right. Hey, Rosie. How you doing? All right, dovetail the ends. Gather it together. Put that in there. I'm going to tie it off. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. Yep, we're giving away that green ribbon tonight. Okay, so I'm just going to use this on the two pegs that are remaining. I'm going to twist it in, gather, twist, put it in. Thank you, thank you. Gather, twist, and put it in. And then we're going to tie it off here. Oh, yay! Awesome, Rosie. I know, Trixie. These, these purples really do come out nice. Now, I don't know if I want a couple tails, so I'm just going to make them just in case. Um, I, I made my own pegs. If any of you have been watching me for any length of time, you guys know I always... I always change stuff around. I don't know. It's just me. I'm just weird. I just always, you know, do different things with mine. So I cut um, pegs that I think these are seven inches long. Um, I don't know. I just, I just like, I always do something with them. All right, I'm going to cut that off. Dovetail the ends. All right, so then what I'm going to do is we're done with the helping hand wire now. So I twist those two together. Oh, no problem, Judy. Yep, just please like and follow my page, share it, and comment so we can get there. And someone from tonight's live is going to get that roll of ribbon. Hey, Kathy. Thanks, Ava. Hey, Barbara, how's it going? All right, so then I will cut that off. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hey, Sharon. Yeah, it's just made from Dallas. Absolutely. And I'm going to untie this. Now, when you untie it, make sure that you put your finger there and make sure that you got all of them, all of the twist done. Thanks, Sharon. Undo the one on the bottom. And then you want to pull this as tight as you can get it. I don't know why it's crooked. Okay, and then twist those two together. Hey, Berlin, how's it going? Um, I made these seven inches. Thanks, Bev. And all I did was I took one of the original ones with me to the hard. I think it, I think I either got them at the hardware store or AC Moore or something like that. And I just took one of the original pegs with me, so I knew the the right um, dimensions of it. And I, um, you know, then I just bought a long one, which is cheaper than buying little ones. You know, just buy a long dowel, and then I just cut it up and um, you know sanded the edges so they weren't rough. Hey, Kathy. Okay, so then the easy way to get your bow off is just take that center off. Okay, now I'm going to get my fluff box here. Three quarter inch bow. Okay, I'm going to get my fluff box. And I'm going to put this on the fluff box. And all you do is you have this eye hook here, you wrap the wires around the eye hook, then bring your bow up, and then wrap this around. Oh, hey, Nicole, no problem. Okay, so we have the tails. Okay, 
Oh, thank you, Andrea. Yeah, this is a, a bigger bow. It's going to be a little bit bigger. And I'll bring this tail over here. Okay. Bring this over here. Bring that there. Okay, that's our center one there. Okay, get these all spaced out. Okay, now let's see where I put that one. So I'm going to put these opposite. Thank you. I know, I think the um, fluff box really, really helps to um, get your, get everything where you want it. There, put those over here. Okay, and then that's our little center loop. I know someone gave me the idea. I cannot take credit for it. I don't remember who it was, but I'm like, girl, that is genius. It is awesome, isn't it? Oh, I love it. All right, I need to bring this tail over here. Okay, and then you can trim your tails if you want them a little shorter. I always kind of make mine longer till I know, you know, I actually see the bow and know how long I want them. Okay. And that's probably okay. All right. All right. So then we will take it off of here. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, and the reason I'm doing this first and not putting the streamers on first, is because of how I think I want to put the sign. So what I was thinking is putting the sign over here, okay, putting the big bow over here, and then two smaller bows here, and then just putting the streamers around the edge. So that's why I was thinking that, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the streamers on just the bottom and then we can always add streamers in the top if we feel like we need it and then we'll make those other two bows. So what I'm using is I'm using the two and a half inch plain purple, the one and a half inch plaid, and the one and a half inch um, purple with these little dots on them. Thank you. Okay, and then you just fold it in half and then gather it together. These are cut to 12 inches, by the way. I mean, my philosophy is if, you know, you want to see some of the mesh. So, you know, a lot of people love a lot of ribbon, which I love ribbon too, but um, I kind of like to see a little bit of the mesh. And, you know, so that's why I do it this way. Oh, thank you, Kay. The mesh came from Joann's. Okay. All right, so that's what the um, ribbon looks like. And then what I will do is I will um, alternate, hey, Melody, how I open up the ribbons okay so again I'm just gonna I layer them the same way yes I did 20 inch ruffles hey t shell no problem okay put it in and again those half pipe cleaners I do not put the ribbon into I only use the half pipe cleaners for the mesh it's just a preference I have so this time I'll pull the little dot ribbon up top two and a half in the center and the plaid down the bottom. So I'll show you, it just gives it a little bit of um, a different look, okay? All right, so this one, it has the um, plaid up top and the dots down the bottom. And then this one, I pulled the dots up top and the plaid down the bottom. So it just kind of gives it a little bit, whoops, of a different look, okay? No, it does not, Barbara. It does not belong to anyone. OK, 
Okay, again, fold it in half. And then gather it in the center. Nope, this will be for sale. All right, so. Now I'll show you why I don't um, put mesh in the half pipe cleaners. And it is just a preference of mine. Okay, so if you see the spacing, okay, this is the full pipe cleaners, and then there is a half pipe cleaner in the middle here. So if we put the mesh here, it, or the ribbons here, it would really overlap, lap, and you wouldn't really see much of the mesh. I like to see a little bit of the mesh, okay? <clears throat> um, Barbara, I think... <sighs> Let me, I think I, I don't remember what I priced it at because I'm going to use some florals and stuff. So I will, um, let me know if you're interested and I can send you the link to it. I already did the, um, let me see, I already did the wreath, the, okay, the listing for it on Etsy. So if you're interested in this wreath, Go there. Um, if it sells out and someone else wants it, I can always get another sign and make another one. So, okay. Because I have enough of everything to do more than one. Except for the sign. I would just have to order that. Okay. Hey, Brenda, how are you? So, again, these are cut at 12 inches. The mesh is cut at 20 inches. I did the 20 inch ruffles. And then the ribbon tails are cut at 12 inches. Hey, Susie Brown. Susie, someone was, um, Bev was trying to use the code and she said it wouldn't work. So I told her I would contact you after the live. Um, she said she was trying to use it and, and the code wouldn't work. So if you can just check on that for us, Miss Susie. Okay. All right, so a couple more to go here. Thank you, Melody. I appreciate that. Yeah, so for those of you who are just joining, I'm going to do a giveaway tonight. I'm going to give away this 50-yard roll of ribbon, but you have to like and follow my page, share this video, and um, comment here. The sign is this lavender sign. This is the sign we're using. Okay. Whoop. Thank you, Brenda. The mesh is, it's a real pale lavender. Yes. Isn't it pretty? I got it at um, Joann's. And I don't remember if I got it this year or last year. But I do have another roll, so I... I have enough to make one more of this. If anybody wants another one, I can always order another sign and then make it for you. Hey, Shirley, how are you? I know, doesn't it? I love it. Love the colors. All right, so this is the last one. Then we'll put the sign on and that one bow, and we'll get that in. And like I said, I'm not going to put the ribbon on the inner row first because I just want to see, you know, the bows are going to cover a lot, so... I don't want to, um, yep, if you like and follow my page, which I know you've already liked it, I'm sure you follow it, share this live and comment on the live. Okay, so there's all the ribbon on the bottom row, okay, let's go ahead and what do I do with the sign, we're going to go ahead and put the sign on. Yeah, I did. I gave her the code. Yeah, Bev, try it again. The code is, does it have to be in all caps, um, Susie? I wasn't sure if it had to be in all caps or not. Um, okay. Because she said she was having problems with it. She said she cut, tried it a couple times. It's lavender and white. It, it looks, you can see it better on the roll. This is what it looks like on the roll. 
but it's really, it's a pale, pale lavender. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I have this sign. I always get them. It took one roll, so I did one roll. Okay, so it has to be in all caps. Okay, Bev, if you're still on here, she says try it in all caps. I might not have put all caps in. The sign says Lavender Farm. Isn't that pretty? Love this sign. And I got it from Personalize It by Pam. I put the link up into the comments earlier. So this is just a little metal hole punch that I got at AC Moore or Dollar or the Doll or um, Michaels, and it just goes right through these little metal signs. Now, when you order your signs, you can get holes put in. I think um, I always get them without them because I like to kind of put them where I want them. Okay, so I'm just going to cut two pieces of this. Hey, Gwendolyn, how are you? You have the mesh? Yeah, I got it at um, Joann's, and I can't remember if I got it this year or last year. I apologize. Yeah, I love that mesh. It's really pretty. Yeah, and I only have two rolls of it. Did you get your dessert? Um, not, I don't think so, Tishel. I'm not sure. I, uh, I'll have to look and see what number I'm at. Oh, that's, cr yeah, Facebook is really wonky lately. The sign says Lavender Farm, Fresh Herbs. Yeah, this is a really cute sign. I'll show it to you again, see if you can see it. They have it this year, Rosie? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I got it this year or last year. So, like I said, I want to put the sign off to the side. And then I'm going to um, put some bows. Okay. We got that fed through. Hello, Sandra. How are you? We don't want it too tight. That looks pretty good. Just a little bit, and then I'm going to wrap it around here. Oh, thanks, Meta. The, this came from Michael's. Okay. You don't need all that. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. I haven't checked um, the numbers. So, all right. So then I'm going to feed this one through up here. I know I love the storage caddy. Um. Hey, Kathy. How are you? It's like a linen ribbon is what I'm using. Okay, we don't want to pull that too tight because we don't want it to. Hey, Janet, how are you? Yeah, I saw that. Facebook is in a lot of trouble, it seems like, doesn't it? Yep. If you're new to the page, um, tonight I'm doing a giveaway for whoever likes and follows my page and shares this video and comments on the video and I'm going to give away this 50 yard roll of ribbon so make sure you do all those things and if you don't get my alerts type in alert so that you will know when I'm going live okay so that's where we're going to put the sign so then we're going to take our first bow and we're going to put it right across from it okay Hey, Ann. Hey, Rosario. All right, so we're going to put this one right across from here. I'm just going to feed it through the mesh. Hello. I know I haven't seen you in the group yet, Rosario. I've been looking for you. Okay, so like I said, we're putting it right across from that sign. I know I'm going to smash it putting this on, but I know I do too. I'm just going to twist those two together. Okay. Cut that off because we don't need all of that. And then wrap that around there. Okay. 
get that going so that stays where it's at. All right. Like I said, of course, we smashed the bow, but that's par for the course when you put it on. All right. So we have our first bow, and then we're going to make another one. You don't know how to show up? Um, I think I, I approved you into the group. So you just come into that Facebook group, Rosario. If you have any problems, message me on here, and I'll see if I can help you. I know. Isn't this beautiful? All right. So now it's got that big, beautiful bow there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to make two smaller bows, one for here and one for here. And then we will see, I also have some lavender I want to add to it, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, awesome! Okay, so let's get making our other bow. So what do you guys think so far? Do you like it? I love this lavender. So pretty. Okay, so now I want to make bows, but I want to make them just a little smaller than that one. So I'm going to go down a row to row B. So I'm going to move all my pegs. Okay. Now we need to go ahead and cut our wires. The sun. No, I wish it did. Um, the sign came from Personalize It by Pam. I have a link um, in the comments. All right, since we're making two bows, I'm going to get this so that it doesn't... Um... Oh, awesome! Is there only one size of bow maker? Um, this uh, Pro Bow, she has in this size and then a huge one. But honestly, unless you're making bows that go on like big huge car bows you don't need anything more than this the sign came from whoa that scared me <laughs> the sign came from personalize it by pam okay put that there i know you could spray it with lavender oil that would be that would be nice Okay, so now let's get back to here again. So we need our dot ribbon first. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Now, again, this is just how I do it. Um, I know, scared me, right, Kathy? Whew. And so we're going to, that doesn't need to be quite that long. We're going to get our first, all right, wire there. Wrap it around this. I know other people do it other ways. I'm just weird. I modify everything. I change everything. <laughs> Wrap it around. Okay, this one you want to wrap clockwise and that is way too tight no I think she's going uh, Mary from my group was going I think she's going uh, this row I'm doing on row B Barbara or uh, Carolyn oh this you mean this Barbara oh my gosh I love this this is a um, Easter centerpiece I made in my group on Saturday. <laughs> I don't know if creative is the word, but I always, I don't know, I always change things. and So, I don't know. I just always am, you know, doing different things. All right. So, hey, Mary from Georgia. How are you? Welcome. Okay, so we have that ribbon, then we have the plaid ribbon, which, where did I put my plaid? There it is. Plaid. I 
to make hats. <laughs> get this. We're going to do the same thing. We get take our helping hand wire. And we're going to put the... Yes, it is, Barbara. Absolutely it is. It is already in my Etsy shop, so you can look there. Um, it's it's more like a little bit like a fabric mesh, uh, Melanie. Oops, dovetail. Yeah, it's kind of like a it's a a fabric. I don't remember what I priced it at, Barbara. You'll have to look on my um my Etsy shop. If you remind me um, after this, I'll get you the link to it. Or if you click on um, the shop now button on my page it takes you to my Etsy shop and you can look it up but I know it's on there all right so we're just taking it around one loop on each side and then tying it off yeah I knew I like it because it's got a lot of florals in it so that's the thank you for checking on that Karen Right, so we have that. Then I use the purple, plain purple. I have that all twisted there. Okay. All right, and be careful you don't poke yourself in the eye with your wires. Yes, this is the probo of the hand. Yep. Again, we're going to put the tail up there, put the loop there, gather it and twist, gather it and twist and tie it off. That one up there. And then we have the little floral one. Yeah, it's going to look just like the larger one. It's just going to be a little smaller. Yep, I'm just scaling the bow itself down just a little bit. I don't want them all to be um, huge. So I, I like to put the larger, a larger one like right across from it and then... Um, No problem, Karen. Um, and then I um, put two smaller ones. Thank you. Okay. I do have a private group. If anybody is interested in that, just type group in the comments and you'll get information about that. Oh, and then I need... Uh, this time I think we'll do, oh, we'll do this again. Thank you. I know I don't always do bows. I don't know why. I love making them. I love how they look, but a lot of times I just feel like it doesn't need it, so I don't add it. Oh, thanks, Karen. I'm just going to add that there. Now, do you see how this one is curled like that? Because that's curled so majorly, I'm going to make sure that curl is facing the back. So when it's on the bow, it doesn't like, it's not sticking straight up. Now, you can also add um, the mesh tubing if you want. Oh, thank you, Barbara. To your bows, you know, it doesn't matter. You can try adding anything. This is getting toward the end, so it's really curly. I do like the mesh ribbon. I don't use it as much as I used to. I kind of forgot about it. Like, I have it on the high shelf up there, and I kind of forgot about it. But I do like the mesh rib the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Okay, I definitely use the mesh tubing more, but um, it's okay. Alright, and the last one here, 
the two and a half. Oh no, I hope everything's all right, Kathy. That would scare the daylights out of me. Um, it does fray a little, but not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Um, if you're ordering ribbon online, I would do um, Craft Outlet, Deco Exchange, Waterman's Loft, um, Trendy Tree, any of those. They all have wonderful ribbon. Yeah, I like the tubing on it. We're getting there. Last one here. Bev, did you try retry the code with the capitals and see if that worked? Maybe it was I just I should have typed all capitalized. Yep, Deco Exchange, Waterman's Loft. Um, they all have gorgeous ribbon. I do have an affiliate link for Deco Exchange if anybody wants to go on there and check them out. I don't have one for, um, oh, there it is. So if you want to shop on Deco Exchange, if you would use my affiliate link, I would appreciate that. I get a couple pennies from it. Not much, but, you know, every little bit helps. Why does it do that? It keeps freezing up every time I um, put a post on there. It's really weird with Facebook tonight. And Kathy is the one that made my shirt, which she didn't make this apron, but I wish she would have because I like hers. <laughs> but um, Kathy made my shirts, and Kathy has a um, page that's called A Different Canvas with a K. If anybody needs t-shirts or aprons or mugs or anything like that. And she's very quick. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off. Take that down. I know, I, you know, I, th I think it's just everything that Facebook has been doing has really been making stuff wacky because um, every time I, I put a link in there, it kind of wants to freeze on my end. So I don't know if it's just me or not. Oh, no problem, Kathy. Don't forget, if you want to receive my alerts, type in live. And if you want a chance to win that roll of 50-yard ribbon, like and follow my page, share this video, and comment on the video, please. Okay, that's done. All right, and then I'll pull that off. And we'll make the next one. Since we're making the same bow, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah, I know yesterday it was really wonky, but I think it just must be what's going on. So just make sure if you type in live that you do follow what the bot tells you to do, because otherwise, are you kidding me? Hey, you're, what did they want to know, Susie? That's crazy. I want to hear all about it, Susie. I want to hear about that. That's crazy. I would love to hear what they said. Facebook called you? That's insane. That's insane. All right. Let's find my ribbon down here again. Okay, let me get that going. Remember, you don't want to pull that too tight that it pulls that peg way in. I have a habit of doing that. Wrap that around here. <laughs> Is 
That's funny. I would love to hear what she was telling you. <laughs> that is crazy. See, you're just so important there, Susie Brown. Everyone congratulates Susie. She got to 15,000 likes on her Facebook page. That's why she's doing the, the sale on her shop. So go like and follow her. Let's see what ribbon I have going here next. All right, this one. Oh, thank you, Trixie. Right, let me get that helping hand wire in there. Get that going. Like I said, that first wire is really just to get your bow started. The helping hand wire is to help you hold the rest of your ribbons together. That's all it is. And you guys, Susie is one of the most sweetest, kindest people. I've never met her in person, but um, 3,000 sales. Woohoo! Way to go! That is so exciting! Wow! That's amazing. You go, girl. Um, I've never met Susie in person, but really, I feel like I know her. She is just so sweet. I can't wait to meet her at Wreath Makers Live this year. You know, you kind of, some people you just kind of click with and get to know them online and you feel like you know them, right? Do you feel that, you guys feel that way? I do. I feel like I know them and I feel like they're my friends. <laughs> yeah, super cool. That's exciting, Susie. Oh, hey, Rose, how are you? All right, so we're getting going on this third bow here. And hopefully you guys have all liked, followed, and commented so you get entered into that drawing for that, um, that roll of ribbon. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, need my last one here. The little flowers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Susie, say I um, put it in the post earlier. It is Susie's recent things, but I will. Um, Put it in there again for you guys who didn't see it before. And that way you have it. Let me get Susie's link for you and that will take you right to her. Um, hold on, let me find it here. Here it is. Okay, there you go. Hopefully I don't freeze up on me again. All right, so there's the link. And use the code CELEBRATE, all caps, 15. I know, Kay, me too. I really, I'm so excited about it. I didn't get a chance to go last year, but I really am excited about going this year. That is really, really tight. Roll. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Um, just to give it some variety, you don't have to. You can use one, you can use all the same ribbon if you want, or you can use as many different ribbons as you want. Oh, thank you, Karen. Yeah, I don't do drama. If you're going to do drama, I don't want you. Sorry. I definitely don't want drama here. Hey, Heather, how are you? Yep, keep me out of the drama. A no drama mama here, that's for sure. Oops, I know I'm going to get poked in the eye one of these days. Thank goodness I wear glasses. <laughs> okay, so we're 
just about done this last one. Hey, Leah. I know. It's crazy. I feel bad for everyone involved. But we're not going to talk about it because it's none of our business. Yeah, it's called the Probo the Hand. Um, I like it. I use, you know, a couple different bow makers. I do like this one. I'm still here. Yes. I'm going a little crazy tonight, Lee. Yeah, this is, well, it's, it's towards the end of the roll, so it's really curly. Um, so that's why it's so curly. I know I'm going to get nailed in the eye. But that's why this is really curly. Because it's right at the end of that roll. Yeah, it's not so curly when it's, you know, towards the front more, but it does get curly. Oh, awesome. Susie, that's exciting. You're you're there, girlfriend. You're there. Okay, put that on there. So we're just about done with this third bow here. Oh, thanks, Karen. I know I love my new logo. She did an excellent job. I'm, she's working on a website that hopefully um, I will launch my website next week. We're still just working out the last of the details on it. Um, so maybe next week or the beginning of the following week, we'll have my website up and running. So that's exciting. I'm excited about that. Yeah, she did a fantastic job with my logo. I really like it. Hey, Deborah. Oh, boy, you better go. You better go to Old Time Pottery, um, Carolina Pottery. Who is doing, who's doing what, Rosaria? You got booted off? Oh, no, Bev. Ugh. Kathy, I would love to be in Myrtle Beach. But what are you going to do? Yeah, you can only get it either, I think Amazon sells it, or um, you can get it from her website, probothehand.com. Oh, Deborah, I love it down there. I'm going for two weeks in July. Kathy, I hope you're going to be down there when I'm coming down in July. Okay. All right, and then this last one here. Yes, probothehand.com. Thank you, Rose. All right, so then you're going to pull this tight and get those two going. Yeah, it's the last two weeks in July. It's the week before Wreath Makers Live. Um, the first week, my husband's going to be down there, and then the second week, all the girls are just saying. Yeah, oh, yeah, it should be still be available there, Sharon. So the second week, no hubby. Oh, I love it. I love it when it's hot down there. Um, no, Scott doesn't sell them anymore, Rose. Scott only sells the Easy Bow Maker now. You got your Pro Bow at AC? Uh, Pro, AC Moore doesn't carry Pro Bows. They carry the Easy Bow Maker or the, um, unless she branched out, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Bev, I know. Yeah, the last two weeks in July. Yep. Yeah, I don't think AC Moore has the Pro Bow. I know they have the Easy Bow Maker and the, um, the um, what's it called? The Dabra. But I don't think they have the other one. 
All right, let's get these bad boys fluffed out. Yeah, they have it at AC, or that uh, Michael, or not Michael, oh my goodness. I know, Susie, I can't wait to meet you and give you a big hug. All right, so get that wrapped around, get this bow going. Okay. All right. This bow there. Yes, yeah, Regina's site and then, um, yep, the Amazon. Yeah, those are the only two places that sell it that I know of. Like I said, that I know of. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I know Scott doesn't sell them anymore. <laughs> okay. And that's going to go over here. That's going to go over here. Wreath Makers Live is August. I want to say... I think it is um, the second, I know the business day is the first, and then the second and third. <laughs> yeah, Kathy, I will make, <laughs> yes, <laughs> a fluff box. <laughs> oh my word, you're too funny. Well, I'll tell you, someone on one of my lives, I cannot remember who it is for the life of me, which I apologize for, said, oh, you should put that on a um, Lazy Susan. And I was like, oh, my word, I love it. Yes, this is, this is a fluff box. Yep. And I made it. You can buy them on her site, but um, shipping is going to be a lot because it's heavy. You want it heavy. So that, um, like, it's really easy, Bertha. Really easy. I'll show you what I did. So all I did was, there's this part that you can buy at, um, see the metal part in here? I think I got, it was like $2 or under $5. Um, at, it's called a Lazy Susan part. And then I just put it on a piece of wood. And then I attached it to this. And then that way it just rolls right around it's awesome yeah so like I said I can't take credit for it someone um, do you remember yes I remember <laughs> that's why I'm laughing <laughs> yeah so I but I love it so I put it on the lazy Susan it's so nice Okay, get that out of the way. All right, get the last bow done. No problem. And don't forget, we're doing that giveaway tonight for whoever likes my page, follows my page, shares this video, and comments on this video. I don't. I am all sold out of it, unfortunately, Deb. I am... Yes, today is. All right, so. Get this last one done here. I'm going to put this one there. This one there. It's going. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you would share the love, it would be much appreciated. I'm trying to reach that goal. All right, where do I have that, that bow at? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to put it this way. Thank you. Okay, just a 
about done here. Get that going. Alrighty. I'll put these two on. Get rid of my snuff box here. It's going to fall. I know it. It's going to fall. All right, so now we have the one bow right across from the sign, okay? So then we're going to put one up on the top here and one on the bottom. All right, so I'm just going to feed it through the mesh here and get it on. <clears throat> now when you're putting your bow on you don't want to pull it tight like that because your bow will sink down into the mesh okay so you just want to put it on you want it to sit on top and not sink down into the middle oh thank you Deborah. all right on. Hopefully that Thank you. Yeah, it's turning out really pretty. I really like it. All right. That one on there. I know, boy, guys, I'm really long tonight. Sorry about that. I usually try to just keep you guys an hour. Apologize. All right. So that's the second one. And then we're going to go ahead and put the third one right here. here. Find my way through that mesh. Oh, we're still live, Maggie. All right. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Thanks, Bev. I appreciate that. Okay. Get that twisted on there, and then we will See about that lavender. Okay. Okay. Get that wrapped around that frame. Move. Thank you. Oh, it's twelve thirty. Oh, sorry, Karen. All right, so now we have the three bows on there. What do you guys think? I'm going to trim this one down a little bit there. A little wonky. Okay, we don't want to cover up the sign too much. Okay, so now I have some lavender, which I thought we would kind of put here and there. So let's take a look and see how that will work. So I'm just going to take it I know, right? I'm just going to cut all these off. You can always use this other stuff for another project. Get that price tag off of there. I know I love that sign, don't you? Love it, love it, love it. Whoops, and my thing came. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. All right, get that out of the way. Now we have to see if we like this. Isn't that pretty, though? I got these at AC Moore. Now, <coughs> what I was thinking, <coughs> excuse me, is maybe putting one here. Um, yes, she does, Karen. There's a link above. 
with my um, affiliate link there and you just use that affiliate link and then put in celebrate 15 all in caps okay I'm just gonna wrap it around here for now yeah I got this at AC Moore it's really pretty okay. bring that up What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like it. I think it's pretty. You, you know, we don't have to put a ton in. Just a couple here and there. And all I'm doing is I'm trying to go around the frame. I kept the stem nice and long. And I'm just going to wrap it right around the frame. And then I can always go back and glue that in so they don't move around. And I just kind of wrap it around there good. And then bring it up. Oh, I like that. What do you guys think? Do you like the lavender in it? I think that's pretty. Maybe put some in between the bows here. Yeah, I've seen that store. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that store there. Yep. Okay. And then I will go back in and I will wire, you know, to kind of make sure they're not going anywhere. tough to get in between the mesh and all the stuff going on here. Just kind of have to manhandle it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I really like that. All right, and I think I'm just going to put one more over here, and then I think we're going to be done. I think, I think, I think. Oh, thanks, Karen. All right, so I'm just going to wrap that around. Like I said, I will go back with wire, too, and wrap it really good. Yes, this is the collapsible one. Yep. And glue that in so they don't go anywhere. Okay. All right, then... The pipe cleaners that are hanging out here, I will take and just wrap them around. Okay. So the pipe cleaners, I don't cut off. I just take them and roll them around the dowel so they add another decorative piece to the um, wreath. Thank you. We're getting there, we're getting there. Fix these. Just about done. And of course, you're going to have to go and fluff everything back up again and get everything looking right. Yeah, this one is for sale, so, and I have enough to make one more, so if, um, it's already in my Etsy shop, but if somebody else wants it, if this one's sold, then I can make another one. Okay, so just to kind of curl those ends up, 
to make sure everything is the way you want it. Okay. Get this over here. All right. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's kind of get everything back up. I know, right, Susie? Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's the finished product. I do really like those in there. I think that really adds a touch to it. Okay. And like I said, whoever, oh, thank you, Karen, whoever liked and followed my page, shared this video and commented on the video, I will um, choose the winner in a little bit and I will post it on the page. And then I'll get your information and you will get this 50 yard roll of ribbon. So. And there is already a post on here for this. So if you're interested in it, you can go ahead right. There you go. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I apologize for keeping you on so long. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Oh, my gosh. I know it's beautiful here today. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, if I'm not on before. And I will see you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Bye.